so so I, I saw that video that you that you dropped in um, in that little uh, chat earlier, and I clicked on it. I've never I've never watched the guy uh, David T or whatever. Um, I know a lot of people hate him. I, I remember seeing him in a Freddy live stream once before, um, where he where he openly admitted to um, doing something with an eight year old boy. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, Yes, I admitted that so, yes, he is a sex offender. He openly admitted that yes. Okay. Uh, but he kept saying he didn't do it. But he, but yeah, he, he never admitted all that, he, that he did do it. He said he was framed, but it was like, you know, the cock and bull story. No one admits that they're, uh, he said he was convicted of it. But, but, but he like, did admit, what? but he did admit to taking these kids camping, which right there, I mean. Yeah, uh, he did admit to that. Um, he did admit, well, he said swimming, but. To yeah. me, he admitted camping and taking on also people scout, and he says, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, um, so obviously, we could, I mean, clearly, clearly the, guy, the guy did his time, and he's a registered level uh, three or two um, sex offender. A tier three head of file. Correct. And um, so, so my question, Betty, is since you are a child rights, a child right activist, um, how do you think your subs? Because I've noticed, I've noticed you got a you got a lot of people on Twitter. You got a lot of people. I think you came from from Facebook or something. So you've had some a, yes. a following. You know, you have a name, and and um, and so I wasn't um, allowed to bring my name to YouTube because I was in Facebook prison, so I had to come by myself. So so what I want to know is now that you now that you are. You mended fences with the guy, I guess, because you guys are, um, he's, he's mirroring your video and stuff. So you guys are working together. Um, have, have you no, gotten any backlash from, together. have you gotten any we're backlash? We're not working together. Okay. We're not working together. Okay. I talked to Richard and I asked Richard, I told him that, you know, I needed to get his story out because my channel had been taken down and that's what I was working for was getting steps for his story. So that people could see it, so that people would know what happened and how Franklin's story cover up happened here, and why and how the kids started being trafficked here. What it was all about, because they took my channel down. He has thirty thousand subs. Nobody would listen to a damn word that I said about it. So I contacted him, and I said, "Hey, will you mirror my video so that you can get it out to people?" Well, well so hold on. That following are good people. They okay, they can you walk me through... Can, they don't believe me to something. Can you walk me through... Uh, that's, um, that's the thing. Can you, can you walk me through what happened when, when you when you told him... Because obviously you didn't just call him and say, hey, mirror my video, because you guys have been... I mean, he does have a big channel and stuff, and you guys have been beefing pretty big time. So for him... Yeah, for, for him... Um, uh, for his fans and your, or your subs, and your... And, you know, a lot of your subs are, are actually victims, I'm sure... Um, yes. You know, I mean, they've. What do you say about that? Like, how, how how would you explain that to your to your subs that are concerned about this? And then you said that Richard Kerr. You, you, you said that Richard Kerr started getting. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard the thing? If you can beat them, there's people around that you can wake up, and they'll come to you. You said let them promote you. What was what was that saying again? I'm sorry. Let them promote you. If you can't beat them, then you then you do something to where they're promoting you to their audience, and their audience will come and see the truth. So why why what do you feel like you can't beat? Not. Why do you feel like you can't beat Dave T? Because I'll tell you this. He already beat, he's already, here's the thing, here's the thing, he's already beat by being a, a convicted sex offender. He's beat. Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't get him off, I couldn't get him off YouTube. He just kept growing and growing and growing, just like Daniel. So shouldn't you be working with other people that, that, that do have clean records that don't, that, that have not been convicted of that? Shouldn't you be trying to reach out and make friends All with people like people that? people are not convicted. And yes, but this was something I made a decision on. And I'm going to tell you, I don't lie, okay? I don't have no reason to lie about anything. I'll tell you anything you ask me. I'm not saying that you're lying. But it did exactly what it needed to do. 
and it needed to get out to people that do care about kids and don't believe Dave did anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we all know that Dave is a convicted yes, level three. Do. And the saying is, the saying is, if you can't beat him, join him. That's the thing that's really well, disturbing to me. All right, the thing. There's a difference. If you join somebody, then you start helping them. This was a one-time thing. One time. That's it. One time. It, it just doesn't it just doesn't sit right with me and i'm not even and i've never been violated you know i mean i'm i'm, I'm a normal dude um you know i've uh, any kind of trouble i've gotten myself into has been my own my own my own doings or whatever um being a you know being a kid or whatever but um you know it's just for it's for me someone that has never been hurt by any by anybody you know i had a good childhood it it, it just doesn't rub me the right way to know that you, a child rights advocate, is is you know reaching out to someone or saying that if you can't beat them, join them to someone that has been convicted of of, of, of hurting a child at eight years old. And I told you it wasn't it wasn't to join him. It was to mirror my video so that our good people I've seen in there that do care about the kids will see my video. It's me talking throughout the whole thing. It's my video about Richard Kirk, and they came to my channel. Yeah, so 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 the story it's all about getting the story out, and these people don't—they don't care that he whatever. If they do care, it doesn't matter because nobody can take him down in YouTube land. Like, in YouTube land, like, he just keeps getting like Daniel. Hey, uh, Eddie Source lately? Who? Holy Source, Mister Dunks rebranded channel with eighty something like. Well, if you ever go over to fully sourced, uh, you can see what little channels can do to uh, very big scumbags. It does take a lot of work, but what I'm saying is, he has good, he has good patrons and followers. What I'm saying, yeah, he's probably also got victim, and he's got people that don't know what's going on because of the cover up that's been going on for you with YouTube creators not covering real things they can change. So that's the problem I have with YouTube. The people that needed to be touched are on my channel right now. The what? So, um, you have to think, you have to do things differently. Yeah, I've got a really weird position in YouTube, right? I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of people in YouTube fucking ate my guts for exposing their heroes and shit like that, but there are some people that give me credit for that and have a little bit of respect for that. And I can reach out to any YouTube, almost, any YouTuber. Uh, I wish you would have came for, to me first instead of going to a convicted level three pedo. Because that's, that's what's I been, that's what's been hurting, that's been hurting me all day, Betty, since earlier. Like, it's, it's, uh, I didn't even think about it. I was just thinking, all I was thinking is who got those birds. I don't know, man. That's what I thought. Who's got the most numbers that hates me the most? They would be doing me and the and they but, don't even know her. Freddy, when, when, when you're not talking, can you mute yourself? Because it's really yeah, sad. Sorry, sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sorry. Um, and, and I'll let you guys go on or whatever, because like I said, this is, you know, I, I don't really know too much about these guys or whatever, but... Um, he hates me the most. I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know, Freddie. I know, Freddy Just a couple days ago, you know, he he managed to fucking get this this guy a call for an uprising's attention, or, or you know, he was able to get him linked up with this with this channel that only has like a hundred and something subs and stuff. And um, and it, I mean, yeah, it's not getting traction. Yeah, not too many people. A call for uprising follows me. Right. Okay. So. Um, the thing, we're friends. The, the we're friends. I, I go on his stuff all the time. He's an amazing man. He okay. woke me up a lot. Oh, that, that would have been the guy I would have approached then if you have a relationship at all with uh, a call for an uprising instead of going to Dave, man. I, I, I'm going to pull over it so I don't <clears throat> screw up the audio so you guys can hear me and stuff. But you this has been a very interesting thing. right. 
It's just sometimes when my when people are just like trying to run my life every single day, and I'm trying to help someone and everything, I don't think like I probably should. You're um, right. I should have came to you guys. I should have came to somebody else. Well, I I wouldn't say come. You, you should have came to me. I'll tell you that. So because because I, I like I said, I don't specialize in in doing that stuff. No, I'm saying I should have came to Freddie. I should have yeah. came to call. Uh, I, I don't specialize. Uh, uh, you know, call for an uprising. Uh, I should have been, been I. I would have been, I would have gone to fucking anyone but, um, for that, because, you know what, I, I'm not a, I'm not a hero, right, I ain't no YouTube hero, Betty, I'm not no YouTube hero, all what I did was, I know Betty, nobody is, but the thing is, I got triggered by watching child rights advocates, um, hiding groomers, and, you know, like what you told me this morning, that you reached out to Dave T., that was again like what the hell goes on in this fucking platform uh and then you you say that you've talked to call and stuff like that maybe through comments or whatever i don't know but um that you know that's that's a guy with three channels and almost a million subs between them or whatever and it's just i i don't understand what's going on right now but this is the reason why there's you know we we can only fix ourselves i didn't even think about call for an i didn't think about anybody if this, just, this person that did, that hates me the most could promote something I, that he don't even know, he can actually put it out there. There's something he don't even know he's doing. I don't just like Dave, right? How many channels is Dave taking down? You know, I, I just don't get it, right? Yeah, I don't know anything that we do in our war, in our life. Sometimes, sometimes we do stupid shit. So, um. And, and I know that you got your, your channel taken down um, recently. Uh, you know, I've had my channel taken down, and, and it, I mean, that shit hurts my heart because, of, you know, although I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really low budget. You know, I make my, most of my videos on my phones and stuff. Um, I'm really passionate about the stuff that I, that I do do. You know, uh, you might not see that because you might you might just be seeing the videos that I'm making of you or whatever where, you know, it's, they're... No, I've, I've looked at your work. Okay, so uh, I spend eighteen hours a day. Sometimes I don't get even sleep, and that's my and my brain injury. It's hard body. Even takes a baby break. I can't take a break. But sometimes my mind just won't work. You know, it's, I, I make stupid decisions. I live in through every day making stupid decisions and making good decisions. And I'm learning. And I'm growing. And I'm I'm trying. I really am trying. That's the thing. And, and With everything I have. And I respect that. I respect anybody that's trying, uh, expect, you know, trying to, to do something right in this world because we're, I mean, it's, it's, it's filled with nothing but demons. Um, so, exactly. so I, but I do agree with, with, uh, with, with Freddie on, you know, I, I just got a real weird feeling in my stomach when, when I opened that video today, I was just like, oh man, you know, I'm, 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 I'm about to try to, you know, mend fences with somebody right now. And now I see that, you know, their, their channel's being promoted by fucking Dave T, you know? It just, it didn't seem right in my eyes either. But like I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do or anything like that. Um, the thing is... But it will wake his people up when his people come. So are you, are you just trying to, are, are you, are you trying, what is your goal to get more subs so you can so you can monetize again because I, I mean I, I know that you know if you're working oh, no, 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 no. no I'll be monetized on my website next week I don't need you to because that, that one video that I made just a few weeks ago where where I said you know you, you did a 44 minute video and within a minute and 40 seconds you were you, you know you were you, you seemed a little tipsy or whatever I'm, I'm you know maybe you weren't but I mean I gotta be stoned no, you guys you guys made me drink well, you guys made me an alcoholic for thirty days. Well, I gotta, I gotta say, I mean, YouTube's, you know, it, it won't drive me, it won't drive me to drink, but I gotta be stoned. Oh God. I thought of suicide. I can't tell you how many times I, I fucking thought of putting myself in a, you know, um, they're going to try to run, get, run you, ruin you, ruin you. Get off, please. Nobody's, Nobody's trying, trying to ruin you. Me. Nobody's trying to ruin you, Betty. Nobody's least, going to because I tell the truth. And, at least you know, I'm not. That, I'm not trying to ruin you. Um, I'll speak for myself. When people come to my channel, they're going to learn about David T. As we go, and no better way 
but for him to promote my channel so that do I can be down. Do you have uh, any so Dave T? pissed down. Are you listening? Do you have any Dave T ex, uh, um, exposure videos on your channel right now? No, they, they made me take them off over copyright. Right. They damn sure did. And they just took my George Pell off, and they just took another one off that was over, you know, real evidence and shit of, you know, child molestation. So, have you ever thought of me asking Dave T to stream with them? So that you could, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. want to go on a live stream with him. I just want to. People, if they come to me, I can tell them the truth. And if I, and if, what's the best way to take your enemy down? I don't know, tell me. With truth? Exactly. So, he mirrors my videos. His, his subs see my videos. They care about children. They love children. They think they're following a great man. They think he's the world. And then when they get to my, my channel, and I, and I do Richard's interview, and then I come back out with who that person is, it would make it much easier to be taken down. Hey, when you think about that channel you know, of yours getting taken down, you've uh, said to me, uh, people keep telling me that you took my channel down. Two-parter yeah. here. Who told you that? Just people you don't know. But people wouldn't I you don't think, know, they keep wouldn't, emailing me and saying Wouldn't you think it would be more more likely the, uh, the <laughs> Troll Docs, Dave T, Stony Stone combination that took your channel down rather than a guy like me that's fucking fairly open and honest about how disgusted I am with fake child rights advocacy? It could be. It could be. And then, but at the end, he's going to get fucked. Do you understand? I, I don't understand it. I, I mean, because you're, you just said... At the end, he's going to get fucked. You guys are... You got to understand. Sometimes you got to think like your enemy. Oh, yeah. I, I know about that. But Okay, well, I think... I I know if I have him mirror things about Richard Kerr, okay? To all of his subs, always. Just for a while. His subs come to me. I do my interview. I come back. I put my evidence back out. And who loses their fucking channel? Who finally gets off the goddamn YouTube? Now you're you're talking. You're saying that after you do the Richard Kerr interview, you're going to expose Dave T again, and you're going to make yes, another video. Yes, yes, yes. I am still taking him down, and I hope you don't fucking ruin the plan. Uh, well, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not here to ruin anybody. So you know, just uh, yeah, I'm not here to do that either. I'm but this is that's the fucking yeah. plan. That's the plan. And he's the one that's going to bring all this up to me. <coughs> um, when is uh, when is the court the Kerr video or when is the Kerr interview scheduled? Is it going to be like a live? Uh, it's going to be pre taped probably. But when when is that uh, meeting with you, Kerr? It's next month in next Dallas, month? Texas. Mm -hmm. right. That's why that's why Richard agreed for me to do so I could take down his fucking channel. So well, I'd be uh, I'd be really interested to talking with uh, Mr. Kerr, anyways, just to if if anything, just say hello to the guy and stuff. I'd be quite interested in to talking to him if you could set that up, Betty. Um, yes, that sounds fine. So if you're if you're heading out to Dallas, are you going to go stop by Dilly Plaza? Where's that? It's in, it's in Dallas. That's where it's, JFK got hit. Correct. Oh, see, I can't remember. I don't. Um, he's going to take me places for a couple of days we're gonna hang out and just have fun and he's gonna take me all around dallas nice. for a couple of days and then yeah. the last thing i'm gonna do my interview with him kerr's uh kerr's a resident of america now if i'm not mistaken yes has yeah. been since the 80s yeah so so where did kerr come from was, like, was he a is, does he come from hollywood does it come from no he came from northern ireland in that um, Kinkora orphanage, like I told you. And then um, he was trafficked over here because he was having to sleep with the VIPs um, because it was a VIP pedophile ring to blackmail <coughs> whoever was involved. Um, and then Ron Cron was in uh, Venice and met Richard through this pedophile <coughs> stuff. And he was a pedophile 
and he brought Richard over here to America, brought him through the back door of the embassy, and brought him in and had him a United States American citizen within minutes, and then brought him to Dallas, Texas, while he continued to be there and be blackmailed, um, blackmailing people um, here in the United States of America. <clears throat> um, you just have no idea. How did he get his story out? Because I, 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 I seen that he was on 60 Minutes or whatever. Somebody was looking for him. They wrote a book on Concora Orphanage. Uh -huh. And they were looking for him. And they couldn't find him in London. They couldn't find him in you know, uh, Ireland. They couldn't find him anywhere. And, hey, um, Betty. Um, so what, what year did he do the 60 Minutes? Do you have that on hand? Yeah. It would be 2000. It's 2019, right? It was three years ago. 2016. 2015, 2016. No, and that was his first uh, exposure. In